Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Copper's Corner. It's currently Sunday and I have six items I need to ship out from this weekend sales, so stick around. Our first item going out today is a 10 pack of Zest soap. It is tucked in over here among the toys. All right, so we've got the soap ready to package. As you can see, it's almost three and a half pounds. We're gonna round that up to accommodate for the box. We're gonna be sending this priority. So we'll do three pounds. I'm just gonna do 10 ounces. So that's showing 1043. We'll be shipping this to Pennsylvania. For the soap, we'll be using a uh, just a mailing box. We'll put a little packing paper in there just to make it a little more secure. And with packing paper, the more that it's crumbled, the better it is. Put the shipping label on. And that one's ready to go. Okay, the next item going out is a pair of Levi's 505 men's jeans. I bought these at a yard sale just this weekend and they've already sold for $35. So that comes out to one pound, 10 ounces. And I'm just gonna round up to about one pound and 14 ounces to cover for the bag. And I'm going to do a flat rate envelope for this one. And those should ship out to Wisconsin for $7.40. I'm going to put an extra piece of tape on this just to make sure it gets there without being damaged. And package number two is ready to go. Our third item going out is a Monopoly game. It is a Monopoly Express game. And let's find it. Well, it was in the toy section. I think it's in here. in the back. Hung up on Tweety Bird. So it's a Monopoly Express. New in the box. I uh, got this at a Goodwill store and only paid a few dollars for it. I don't remember exactly. And it sold for $12.30. I thought I had a box for this to go in, but after searching, I think I'm going to have to use a priority mailing box which is going to cost around $7.40, maybe $8. So this was not a good buy. And it's not that the game is heavy. It's just uh, when I put it in a bigger box, it brought it just over the weight for first class by two or three ounces. And it's so bulky with the packaging that it won't fit in my standard boxes that I have. So 
So again, I'll pad the bottom with packing paper. I'll wrap the game with packing paper. And then I'll pad the top with more packing paper. It's always better to use a little more. I'd rather the item get there and be intact as it's described. I wouldn't want somebody to pay for something and they get it to their house and it's damaged or torn. With the mailing box, it comes out to one pound, 1.8 ounces, but you round that up. So one pound, two ounces, and it will get sent out priority. So actually it's gonna be more. It's gonna cost me 11.69. So I will actually take a loss on this item, but that's goes that goes with any business. You're gonna learn from your mistakes. You're gonna learn how things ship, how much things weigh. And unfortunately, I learned the hard way on this one because I will lose two or three dollars on this sale. The next item going out is a new in box HP 61 black ink cartridge. I actually found this in one of my vehicles I'd bought years ago, never used it, so I decided why not sell it. I know ink cartridges sell regardless if they're expired or not, so this one sold for $15. The buyer did leave me a note on this one to please overpack it for protection. So I will put it in a six by four by four mailing box. And I've got some bubble wrap and I'll make sure it's taken care of just the way they asked for. So we have a layer of bubble wrap and one layer of packing paper. And with this item, it will go first class. We'll round the ounces up to five and it will cost us a total of 357 to send this out to Delaware. And package number 4 is ready to go. I bought two of these over a month ago from Walmart. They were on clearance. I was trying to build up some inventory and try out a few different options. Um, one sold a couple weeks ago and the other one sold this weekend and I'm glad both of these are gone because they were not very good sellers. And this item is tucked away right here. Since this item is going to weigh more than two pounds, uh, I think it comes at two pounds, four ounces. I'm going to put it in a flat rate medium box and it looks like it's going to cost $13.75. And with these boxes from the post office, there's this adhesive side, which makes it very easy to package. Peel this strip off, reveals the adhesive, and then it seals up, good to go. And with that, item number five is ready to go. And that brings us to item number six, which I saved for last because it is my biggest item and it will be my heaviest item, and probably the most awkward to pack. Item number six is a pair of Rydell, probably not saying that right, Rydell roller skates with zinger wheels. 
and they do look to be a vintage pair. They did look to be in fairly bad shape, which I did list in my description. Someone had mentioned that um, the tongue could be replaced. I don't know much about these. I just knew when I saw them that they looked fairly old and like they would be worth a little bit of money. All right, for the roller skates, I'm gonna have to repurpose this Amazon box. And I think they will fit in there perfectly. All right, with a little convincing, I finally got the roller blades into the box and I've got it taped up. It's not pretty, but it'll make it there. Total weight, round that up to nine pounds, 12 ounces. Nine pounds, 12 ounces in the box. So this is another learning experience if I had selected FedEx, I uh, could have shipped this for about $20. But since I had put priority in the description, uh, it's going to cost $42.24. So I charge the buyer $25, and I'll just have to eat the other several dollars cost on that. Each time you ship something out, you learn if the product itself works. You learn if the packaging that you have works. And you learn if it's worth it to ship Priority or FedEx or UPS. So as you go along, you constantly need to be learning these things. If not, like this, I could have saved $20 on shipping, but I think I bought these for around $5 at a yard sale. I got several items and they did a package deal. So I think my, my average cost was around $5. So with that being my last order going out, that makes six total orders that I had this weekend. So for me, being a startup, this is a pretty good weekend in sales. So now I'm gonna go into each one of these sales. I'm gonna leave positive feedback for them. Uh, typically I just say prompt payment and thanks for your business. By leaving the positive feedback and where I put in their prompt payment, I feel like that tells other sellers that this buyer will fulfill their end of the agreement quickly. I know as being a seller, you always wanna make sure the buyer is gonna pay and it always helps if the buyer pays immediately or within at least 24 hours. That way you can move your item into the shipping stage, get that sent out and clear up space for more inventory. And with those six items going out, that will conclude today's video. Again, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you like and subscribe. I've posted a couple videos this week. One, unfortunately, was the loss of an officer in a county close to me. I did a Sea of Blue video from where I participated in that. So go watch that. Like I said in my intro, I'm going to try to do some law enforcement type videos because that is where my heart lies is in law enforcement. But I'm also gearing up to do more thrifting videos because that's just a, a fun thing I can do outside of work to clear my mind and get away from the stresses of the law enforcement side. So go watch those and stay tuned for some more content with some thrifting videos. I'm in the process of making two or three more videos now. And uh, this past Saturday, we had a baby shower for our new baby that we are in the process of adopting. And I'll be working on putting that together as well. So again, I appreciate you guys watching and have a great day. Thank you.